This is exercise 5C using styles and creating layer files for the course on getting to know ArcGIS Desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3. Go ahead and start ArcMap and in this exercise again we'll be using existing map building on the Africa file. This is exercise 5C and we will be adding another map to the Africa poster. This one on uh, wildlife, so you see there's a new fourth map. But this is an empty map, so we want to go ahead and um, add data. It's easy to add data. Wildlife is already activated, so you don't have to do anything there. Just go ahead and click on the add data icon in the toolbar. Uh, navigate to chapter 5, data and add animals. We're going to be adding the animals that we found in Africa. Here we have uh, a dot for each location of a specific animal, but um, that's you know not really enough. We want to do more. Go ahead and go to the properties, right clicking on animals, going to properties. The symbology again will be categorizing by unique values and we want to do it by animal name. It's the only choice you have. So go ahead and add all values of the animal names. There are three different types of animals. Elephants, giraffes, and zebras. Uh, no, there are no other values, so go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we won't be using the color at all, so don't worry about um, uh, the randomly assigned one. Just go ahead and click OK. Why we're not going to be using those specific ones well, because we want each animal to have its own its own symbol. So go ahead and click on the symbol for elephant. Well, let's look around for something that might be good for an elephant. Now, I happen to know there isn't a good one for elephant. So go ahead and click on more symbols, because these are just the standard Esri symbols. But there are many more types of symbols you can use. Go ahead and add the conservation symbols. And if you navigate all the way to the bottom, you'll see there are a lot of new icons of which this one for elephant. Black, well, you know, black is a little bit boring, so we can, uh, as the book suggests, move to a nicer color like um, Delft Blue. The size is it's going to be a little bit bigger than we want, so knock it down to a size 14 and go ahead and click OK. The next one is giraffes. Again navigate to the bottom. Giraffe. Color, uh, they suggest a burnt umber or sorry, raw umber. And since this is a thinner icon, we can go ahead and Increase that size to 22. Click OK. Lastly, we will be changing the zebras. We'll just leave that black. You already know how to do this now, I'm assuming. OK. Um, we've made significant changes to the symbols, and we want to make sure that our changes uh, we can access on any computer anywhere. So, to do that, you need to right click on Animals and save as a layer file. Go ahead and navigate to My Data uh, under Chapter 5. Accept the default name of Animals Layer. layer. Go ahead and click Save. Now you're safe. If you close your program, the Animals Layer, and all of your changes to the symbology will have been saved. As lastly, go ahead and check to show that your your changes have been shown in the poster. That's the last part of exercise 5C. Go ahead and move on to exercise 5D.